MK7 GTI fuel pump replacement. Take the back seat out. Grab these things and take them out. There's four of them. Just put your finger on there and pull them up. Now grab the front of the seat and pick up on it. And now I'll pull the seat out of here. I think. Or do we have to take these off? I don't know, I'm not taking those off. So pull the seat out of there. This is hard to do. You're the camera lady. No, don't lift up on it, you gotta pull it out. To get it. There you go. And then take this and lay it down for a turbo bed. Just kidding. I don't have anywhere to fit this, so you're gonna have to stick this somewhere. Or the turbo gets in the car. Alright, well here's a seat. I don't know what to do with. Uh I don't really know either. You may just put it in the front. Set it on the back of the Chevelle outside or something. Turbo, you're not going for a ride yet. Unless you're doing the fuel pump, then get get busy. Then you're going to need some kind of a trim tool, uh, which I don't have because Jimmy stole it. So anyway, you need something to release the plastic cover over the fuel pump. There, you can see. You need to push in and release all those areas. Something plastic is better. I don't have anything plastic. Then you uh, take this grommet loose and shove it through the hole. This grommet here. Undo it, shove it through the hole. I'd show you, but I can't. There, pull it out. And shove it through. Where's my camera lady? You now may want to clean all the debris from the top of this before you go taking stuff apart. But you have one hose and one wiring connector to remove. So there's a red tab. There's a release pin somewhere. You pry up on the red part. Like that. Until it pops up. And then you can push on the clip and pull it out. Apparently. Like so. As far as the line. There is a release on the line too. You just push on. I haven't found it yet. You, in fact, do want to push on this little black clip that's in the bottom of this. Right here. You want to push on that. What I did is I pushed down on this line to release pressure on that, then push that in, and then lift it all up. So, there you can see that. I'm gonna get a vacuum cap and put on top of this, and then I'm going to clean this, clean this up. Okay, next, you need to rotate this retaining ring counterclockwise. So, you get a screwdriver, put it somewhere on here, get a hammer, tap it around, it's just like any fuel sending unit. They're all the same. When you tap it around, you'll shake all the dirt loose that you didn't get off. As you can see now, that comes off. And your fuel pump will now lift out of there. Let's just get this ring out of the way. And so yeah, I'm going to lift this out. I think there's a might be a hose connected to the bottom of it. But uh, I'm going to set the camera down and not film that because, uh, I don't know, I need to be careful. 
because I don't know what I'm doing. Here's some things I learned. Unclip the float before you try getting this out of there because the float kind of holds you up. Just unclips. It clips in on the side here. Like so. So unclip that, lift it out of there, lift the pump up and you have another hose to disconnect right there which is right here same thing push that green part in and pull apart also do a better job cleaning up this because i've been dropping dirt in there so now i'm going to try to clean that up before i put the new one in okay so basically drop the new pump in there hook up the hose when you get it close drop it in get it in down down in there and then put your float back on um, I found that my new gasket, uh, I couldn't get the pump to seat in there with the new gasket. Or you, I put this in the tank first around the lip, but this one didn't fit very good and the old one fit way better. And then when you drop this pump down, this is spring loaded, so you have to push this down. It's going to hit the bottom of the tank. You have to push this down to get your retaining ring on there. So. That is that. We will hook this up and see if our gas gauge works. That should be it. Other than that, you put that grommet back through here, put this thing back down, put your back seat back in, and you're done. It's actually pretty easy. I was just fighting that uh, gasket for some reason. The only thing I'm worried about is if the fuel gauge, if the float is in the right spot, because I don't know what I'm doing. Said she had half a tank, and it looks like she has almost half a tank. So I'm going to let this prime. I think it primes from the key. I think the key, it senses when the key is near and the fuel pump primes automatically. But. Not positive. It appears that it's working, so uh anyway the problem we were having with this car at sixty-five thousand miles actually it happened well before that. We've already replaced the fuel pump control module because we took it to the shop and they couldn't really figure out what was wrong, but they were getting some weird readings out of that. So anyway, what it does is when you drive somewhere, you shut it off, like go to the store, and then you go back out to leave, and it's still warm, it doesn't want to start. It'll it'll eventually start and misfire and sound like it's running on two cylinders and go in limp mode. So you'll shut it off, restart it, same thing, shut it off, restart it. Eventually, after four or five times of restarting it, it'll run normal. So. Being that the shop couldn't figure out what a Volkswagen shop it wasn't the dealer, but it was a like the best reviewed Volkswagen shop around here that I trust more than the dealer. Uh, they couldn't really figure it out. They recommended the fuel pump control module, so we replaced it. It seemed better, and then then it seemed worse. So anyway, we just did the low pressure pump in the tank. And if this isn't it, all that's left is the high pressure pump mounted to the engine, and uh, I don't know. But anyway, hopefully this fixes it. We will see. But that's it. That's actually really easy to do. Um, so yeah. Put the back seat in and you're done. I recommend cleaning up around this way better than I did. I, When I pulled this off, I dropped a bunch of crap down in the tank and I had to reach down in there with rags and paint filters and clean it up the best I could. I got most of it, but... Yeah, all that crap that's around that is definitely going to fall in the tank when you take this off. So, anyway, put this back together. Put this through here. This grommet goes through here. Stuff like that. And you get the idea. And now that we're done, Angel's back. <laughs> put this on real easy like see the dealer scrape or not the dealer but that place scratched this all up here where'd 
Where'd you go? Oh, it's Skittles time. Oh, it's Skittles time. <laughs> Yep, looks good. Seat, please. Mm. Do that with the camera and the Skittles. Okay. I'm on it. Whoa. Oh, scratch. Oh. No. 